Hello friends, this is a continuation of vinyl records I acquired over the past year. It's actually part four. So let's just dive right into it. The first one I'd like to show for you is a Razormade record. This is Razormade R15. And the main reason I got this uh, compilation, I was looking for one song and I couldn't get it. It's a Tyler Disco song and it's called Blue Disease by Vivian V. Here it is. It's uh, actually the fifth track or the fourth track on here. It's Vivian V called Blue Disease. Um, I've been waiting for like five, six years for it to appear on Discogs. It never did. Uh, very rare. If you go to Vivian V's LPs, they're very expensive. Over $50, close to $100. So if you go to Discogs and you've been waiting for that one song forever... Go to compilations, and on compilations, sometimes you get lucky and get Razor Made. And that particular one was a Razor Made mix I was looking for for so many years. Uh, another one you might be familiar with on here is Cabaret Voltaire, Don't Argue, and that's track number one. I'm not too familiar with the rest of them, but I just got to give the Razor Made a chance and listen to all the tracks. So very, very happy to have that one. Next one was on my want list, and I got a near mint copy. Sweet and the Banshees. It's called Cities and Dust. Outstanding. Love the condition. I love the cover of this. I've been loving this song for a long time. And something I don't really say too many times is I love the LP version better than the remix version. They got the extended eruption mix on here. And also it has the edit. That's that's on the LP. I actually like the edit a little bit better. So that's a little bit different in my book. Okay, the next one. Been on my want list for a long time. I don't know if it's kind of like a holy grail. I've I've seen it on eBay maybe three times. And I've seen it on Discogs one time. So I had made an offer. Thank you to the seller that um, took my offer. And I finally purchased it. And I got the original Loveland. Here it is. When you dress up for me, the original with the hype sticker on there. Very, very rare set sightings you see on eBay for this one right here. Um, I've been waiting so long to get it. They had one I had one opportunity on this guy's when I have it on my want list that pop up on my email, and then somebody just buys it right under you. You don't even have a chance to get it so when i seen it i just went for it i made the offer he took it i'm so happy to have it in my collection loveland uh loveland when you dress up for me if you cannot get this one which is rare uh go for the art of mix i think it's number 28 art of mix and it's a blue kind of a bluish green transparent vinyl and it has loveland when you dress up for me on there it's really good Next one, I guess, is more house, kind of synth pop. This is called uh, Breakaway by Big Pig. Uh, first heard this track on, they used to have a club back in Houston called Club 6400. And I had a mix and it had this song right here and I loved it. So when I went to the, the bargain bin at one of my record stores here locally, I finally got it. Uh, I was telling you I'm a Book of Love fan and I got this one right here. It's called Alice Every Day. Uh, this is a promo, and this there's what it looks like on the back. And this particular track came out in 91, but it's the 1990 version on it. But when I listen to the song, it sounds more, I guess, late 80s, maybe mid, mid 80s. You remember like when I Touch Roses came out and Boy? It sounds more like that than the next album, like Tubular Bells, Pretty Boys, Pretty Girls. So I think they kind of reach back to kind of their roots of when they got started so i really love this a lot called alice every day i uh, highly recommend this song if you like book of love tommy boy records promo four cmds itching for a scratch came out in 85 this was also released on a motion soundtrack called um rapping so i have that one and then i got this one this is one that's a lot better shape Freestyle, synth pop, 
This is called Point of No Return by New Shoes. And there's actually two two songs, two different artists. Uh, Expose had Point of No Return, the more, more freestyle, faster beat. This is a little bit slower. And I actually like this one better because it has more sentimental value to it. And I think the BPM is around 112 on this one right here. And the other one uh, by Expose is like 120. So really good to have this in my collection. Now, I've seen this next one in two different record shops, and I didn't buy it because it has so many scratches on it. So I'm very particular about, uh, you know, waiting and looking and make sure I get the best condition record for my money. And then I, I found this online. I think this was off of uh, Discogs. Here's Murder Rock by Reggie Griffin right here. And actually, when I seen the uh, cover, I didn't realize that Sugar Hill Records was the parent company of Sweet Mountain Records right there. Because I've always seen the pink label, and I never thought Sugar Hill was the uh, parent company until years later. This is more electro funk. Uh, it's got the, the, the vocoder, and it's got the, the funky sound and the, the, the electro feel. And this one came out in 82. I didn't know that. It came out a little bit earlier than I thought. Because I thought it was more like 83. You know, a lot of, a lot of electro funk songs came out in 83. This next one is, I guess, more synth pop, housey type. And it came out in 86. This one is by Burstyn and Little John. And it's called Rich and Famous. Really good. It's a promo. has the uh, original uh, jacket to go with it. Uh, this one right here has the samples like Lifestyles that are rich and famous, you know, with um, with your boy, I can't think of his name. And uh, in there is really good. And it's like the extended version. It sounds so good. Uh, the next one, and I like uh, Big Audio Dynamite. And I got the bottom line. And I think this is a, a UK pressing. Here's what it looks like. Uh, that guy, he, that's Mick Jones. He was used to be the lead singer of The Clash. You remember he had uh, Rock the Cavs Bar, Should I Stay or Should I Go? I discovered this version right here off a radio station called uh, First Wave, Sirius Radio, Channel 33. And on a Saturday night, they were playing a bunch of, of dance club songs. And I heard the bottom line a version I never heard before because I got another version that's not this remix here. This remix is fantastic. So if you like Big Audio Dynamite, the bottom line, get this record right here. I promise you it sounds so good. Or just go to uh, YouTube and take a listen to it. Next one is a German pressing. This is by Zeno. It's called What's Your Name? This is James Bond. And I think this one is on uh, kind of a red vinyl. This is off of Rush Records right there. Really good. Nice condition. Uh, years ago, I used to have another, I think it was on BCM record label. Uh, same What's Your Name by Zeno. It was on a blue jacket. And I used to have that. When I seen this one came online, I got this from Discogs. I couldn't pass it up. I bought a couple records from the seller, so I got a really good deal on it. Next one's a classic. Went to the record store and picked this one up. Jelly Bean. Uh, it's called The Mexican. It's a good kind of electro freestyle. It came out in 84, so it's a classic. I've seen, I've seen this record go up in value a little bit, so it's really good. It's got a good, really good remix on it. <clears throat> okay, pick this one up. This is MCADE off of Foresight Records, Nightmare on ADE Street. Track came out in 87. Uh, the hard thing is when I get records from Foresight, most of the time I do not get the original Foresight jacket to go with it. Those are so hard to find. It seems like every time I go to a record store, it's usually a generic white uh, for Foresight Records, so I wish there was a site I could go to just to buy uh, the jackets, the company jackets. So if if y'all know that there's a site that I can go to 
to get those jackets uh, for site, uh, please let me know and leave a comment. Another record store I went to, and the guy, the same guy has the bargain bins that uh, I'm the 12 inch single guy that comes in, and he says I got a box of sealed records. So I went check it out, and I picked this one up right here. Y'all remember this one? Uh, it's called um, "Give Me What You Got for a Pulp Chop" by FM off of Avenue Records. I think this one came out, I guess, around '93. Or 94. It was a popular hit back in the day. So I got a really good deal on it. and just couldn't pass it up. Now Blind Buys. And I took a chance on this one. I've never heard it before. Until I went to Discogs. It's still sealed. This is off of Bev Burn Records. This track is called Fast Lane. By Bernstein. I really don't know a whole lot about it. I don't know. It came out in the early 90s. So, seems like it's a rare record. Uh, another song I like a whole lot. I guess it's more synth pop. And it's called Soviet Snow by Shauna Lang. And uh, this one's also sealed. I also have another copy of it. So, really like this song a whole lot. Another sealed record I got. Commando Rock. This is by C Jam and Kid Frost. So I'm definitely going to open this one up because I do have a little Kid Frost collection going. I have Rough Cut and I have Terminator. And now I got Commando Rock. So really good addition to the collection. The last record we're going to discuss, The Egyptian Lover. We got Baddest Beats Around, Sealed Condition. Good Electro, West Coast Electro right there, my friends. So that does it for part four. I'm going to get some more records ready for part five. Thank you very much, and y'all have a fantastic day.